I think to me what kind of was like hmm, was uh, give me pause was more like okay so you've been told this is not okay mm-hmm. but you're still trying to justify it yeah. you know I think um, it's more like okay when you go somewhere just because people look like it's even us when we, when we come here just because African Americans look at, like look like us and we can interact very easy doesn't mean that we actually get each other culturally culturally right yes. so there's, there's, some, there's always that missing piece to it mm-hmm. I think that is what showed on the other side for her uh, not they're not a monolith that totally they're different I, I i told this to my roommate my roommate was like why would she, she's african-american why would she say that she need to be more respectful of another people culture and don't use full language with mm-hmm. there so i in it kind of shows that not they're not the same but i'm glad she's there and i'm glad she's showing people kenya from her point of view yes you know? right. yes um the, so then the other one the most fun interview for me in october was ali's um that was not an interview I, I was the host oh sorry uh, sure. He was. He was that. My, my most fun. The, the, the most guest. fun that, that, that show. Ha, I don't know really, that, He was I reading. How? How is that? I, I was that the host. Show, the show. I'm saying the most fun show yeah. was when Ali gave us his experience. Of, or allegedly experience, alleged experience. No, he didn't say it was his experience. He said he was reading. I was around. No, I and said, he was I'll, reading. And then he was, Uber, Uber anyway, Everything happened when he was anyway, driving. Uber. Anyway, I was observing. I, I was think observing. I had the most fun in that show. I laughed so much. I cried. Well, what did you like? It was hilarious. I mean, what, it was, what, hilarious. What, what was you know, like, hilarious. Later on, yeah. I went back and thought, because it was so spontaneous. Of course, I did not plan it. But what, what was it? You I mean, know, because like, you did it. I mean, it's like you didn't have to plan. You need to watch it. Malmakut. What was the final revelation? Malakul Bounce. <laughs> <laughs> the angel of death. You uh, too. Uh, I shared a few friends that that yeah. video because yeah. when you guys did it on on on, on social media, yeah, um, they were laughing as well. They were so <laughs> laughing. See, ah, uh, so it was very funny. Yeah, well, and, and you know, I think also people, especially people who know me, you know, like they don't see, you know, like uh, know that you did it. They, they, not necessarily. They they don't see. Yeah, uh, let me put this in a right way. I think. <laughs> I think they they don't see me doing a piece about marijuana or or talking about an experience now about marijuana. Now they know marijuana. what they're missing out. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> So that that was my most fun show. At was that uh, was that uh, Angel Gecko Malakul, Malakul Mout. Yeah, okay. Oshio, yeah. Oshio. Yeah. Yeah. Did, did you also and it, can I also say it was a really good narration? It oh, was spontaneous, mm-hmm. very good storytelling. I, I was surprised. I mean, I mean, you could keep memory. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> when my when my lakul mouth was coming for him for his ass, who could sing things? That was really good narration. <laughs> was so on point, and as I can, I can chore my lakul mouth. But maybe he probably can. No, I think I think we need to write a book about that situation. About no, no, you write it. We shall read it. Amba, we do a movie. My lakul mouth. Amba, we do a movie about it. I think we should do yeah. a movie. Yeah, we, I think we'll make money out of it. What was that movie that was done here in Maryland? Yeah. Which one? The the one those guys who had gone to the forest. Blair Witch Project. Bus. Ah, you that is watch. Okay. 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 So, La, last one for me. It was that was not yeah. a movie for us. Ah okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah Ruth. Um, the fertility doctor. Oh, doctor. I'm I'm, gl- I'm glad. Like uh, sometime I think in July is when we said you know we, you know um your friend. Oh, yeah, talk, yeah, we talked about it. Yeah, 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 we, yeah, talked. we talked, and he said his brother's going to be in town. Can you know you talk to him see whether we can schedule something? And we jumped on that and we said like yeah definitely let's do that. So that that was a great show. As as um, I, I keep saying, as a woman, somebody who's who has lived experience with some of the things we're talking about, it was it was really good to see us talking from a a man's perspective and trying to like have you guys, you know, um, partaking it, partaking that conversation. So seeing where um, it's not hundred percent women who cannot. Who, who, who have infertility, infertility issues? Men do also have them. Yeah. But also talking about things like fibroids, because I also wanted to make sure that the the, the, fem, the female audience members were also add something to green, glean from it. Talking about fibroids and things like yeah. things like that. I think that was a very very uh, educational show. Okay. Um, and I think we should do a couple more like that in the okay. next year. Yeah. 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 I, I mean, I agree with you. You know, Doctor Manwa. You know, like that's a show I think I've listened to twice. And uh, no, actually three times. And every time I listen to it, I tend to get something, something that yeah. that I did not actually get in the previous show. I think this is one of those that's going to rest, you know, like in our YouTube pages, but people are going to be watching it for a very long time. And I see also Brittany Carlwell is tuned in. 
Uh, Hello, you know, hey. Britney. Yes. Yo, Britney. Yeah, yes, Britney. What up, girl? Yeah, and Britney, if you're listening to us, you know, like uh, I want to. Th- if uh, she uh, is. Uh, no, yes, she is listening yeah. to us. Okay. Uh, Malakul <laughs> Mouth. Oh, sorry, yeah. Sorry, so sorry, I just, sorry, I just want to tell you, Britney. Thank you so much. We really enjoyed your episode and your authenticity. And uh, and I don't think I've told you this, but uh, one of the videos that um, the one the piece about East Africa, why you, you know, like why blacks choose West Africa over East Africa when you were talking about it, I think that's been our most viewed video on YouTube. Mm. You know, it's been more viewed than artists who've come here and so many other uh, big guests who've come here. So so I think there was something. There was something that was really compelling about, about how it. authentically Britney told yes, the story from her perspective and, and how she saw it being having lived in both sides. And also Britney has a huge following. So there's somebody who really has never listened to one mic show mm-hmm. at all. She calls me like, oh, you 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 were talking with Britney? It's like, yeah, she was at the show. Sometimes I go to and she, and it was more like. Oh, like I've been following her since the pandemic, you yeah. know, and now because I found her, I might what I might watch your show. Might. Yeah. So, 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 so I think. <laughs> so, yeah. Brittany, thank you for bringing us. Yeah. Some, so I some think new Brittany, viewers. Brittany is one of those guests that we need a part two. You know, like we had wanted well, a part two, but she's I'm not, busy. I'm, I'm sure she's game. Yes. So, so we'll we'll need a part two, a follow up, because there were so many questions that came up. As you can see, Brittany, you know, like uh, there was also some people who did not appreciate your language. Uh, Esther says uh, her colorful language was a bit off, uh, and then uh, she says that. Uh, uh, the African American lady surprised me when she said that Kenyans are submissive, yet African Americans are subdued in America by whites. I found that inaccurate. So, so there was there was a lot of uh, you know like, uh, and I don't think Britney had an expectation that everyone is gonna agree with everything that, it's our uh, experience, that she says. Right? So, yeah. like mm-hmm. other people might agree with it or disagree with it, but yeah. that's our experience. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. We, need, we have comments. Doctor, you want to read the comments? Um, don't I finish your, your comments? Yeah, just, just your piece about Dr. Omano and then uh, Ruth Dr. Omano the for comments. me was the most, that the, the whole, whatever was, because, because it, 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 you know, when you, when you hear stories, you know, of women uh, getting shambuliwa, getting talked down upon, being looked down upon, you know, because they're not able to, you know, they, you cannot, you know, you're not, you're not, the, the, the clan is not, not moving on. Mm-hmm. But only to find out that there are other issues need to be considered because men automatically think because I've got, I'm swinging and I'm, I'm you know, I'm uko, eh? Yeah. My soldiers are uko waki. Yeah, michezo ya jogo. Ah, eh, kumbe, uki, uki mona jongo. Eh, eh, eh. Like in uko pangine, we are just eh? shooting blanks like a nonsense. <laughs> so, I think it was important for that conversation to be had. Um... Uh, uh, of course, at least edible, edibles. <laughs> Story. <laughs>